Because of the expanding population, statistics show that by 2030, all the major highways connecting Nairobi will handle 4.4 million people daily. And being the country's capital and the region's economic hub, the city and its environs will need an efficient and elaborate transport system, such as the bus rapid transit, to allow the operation of bigger buses. These buses will not be run by foreigners. Yeah. Take it from us. Yeah. They will be run by entrepreneurs from this country. The transport authority will be uh, managing the, the, the single fare, single timetable uh, and route, while uh, the transporters will have uh, the buses. And uh, I believe that uh, our matato industry and some of the circles have got the capacity. This is part of the Mass Rapid Transit System, MRTS, which encompasses the Nairobi metropolitan region. Six counties making up the metropolis have signed an MOU to form the Nairobi Metropolitan Authority. We are removing the responsibility from the Minister of Transport and giving it to all the governments, the county governments. Basically now we are creating a focal point, a focal point for everybody. The authority will be the liaison between the ministry the counties and the donors who will help in financing the project. The investments by the World Bank, on, uh, for example, on, uh, uh, they have committed 300 million US dollars and the government of course is going to contribute. But as you heard from the development partners, they are willing and they are happy. Phase one will involve the construction of bus rapid system and commuter rail which will run from 2017 to 2030. All this in a bid to decongest the CBD. Ronaldo Willi, News Our Business.